Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you how to navigate through the app Seesaw as a student. So first thing you would do is go press on the blue button in the upper right hand corner to log in. It's gonna take you to a page that is asking who you are. So you're gonna choose this little button that says, I am a student. From there, your teacher would have given you a code, either a QR code that you can scan or a text code. So I'm gonna put in the text code for my example student. Okay, and press go. From here, you can now have access to your personal page. So there's different buttons that you can choose to navigate through your account. The first button is going to be a journal and that is your open book button here. Let's click on it. Here you can see all of the assignments that you've completed. And you can also, if you had, you can um, listen to comments or read comments that your teacher has left or other class members, classmates have left for you um, once they have looked through your assignments that you've posted. The next button here is this little um, light bulb and there is a number here next to my light bulb that's telling me that I have nine activities that I have been assigned that I can choose to do. So let's click on this button. So if I go through, these are all of the activities that I have been assigned by my teacher and I can choose to complete any one of them. So when you go into a um, into your activities tab, you're going to have um, a picture of what your assignment looks like along with um, this here, which you would either have a list of your instructions that you would need to read or some um, activities come with instructions you can listen to. So let's do that. Let's listen to this one. Click to add your response and then choose whichever drawing tool you'd like. Click on the microphone to start recording. Okay, so once I'm done listening to my instructions, I now know what to do. So I'm gonna go and add a response. So let's add a response. Um, down here, you'll see that you have different drawing tools available for you. Here is a pencil, um, a color pencil, a marker. This is like a little cool 3D um, magic drawing tool and an eraser. This first button is also a pointer tool if you need to click or grab anything. Over here is how you add text. Um, you can record everything you're doing with this microphone button, or you can take a picture of yourself or of your work with this camera button. Here's how you can also add shapes or change the background to your, um, your picture, okay? So let's see, my instructions told me that I needed to record my lesson so that my teacher can hear what I'm doing. So first let's pick a drawing tool and let's choose record. Record in three, two, one. Now I know I need to click on each word and say the word I'm reading. So with, and, you, no, one, we, and I'm gonna keep going all the way through until I get to this last word, like down here. I can either pause my video if I need to take a break or I can continue all the way through. Once I'm done, I'm gonna press the green check mark button up in the top right corner again. And then if I listen to my video and it's exactly what I want, I can press the check button um, to submit it. And if I don't like it, I can press the re-record button to redo it. So let's say I do like it, I'm gonna submit my work. And now this assignment that I've completed is now gonna be here in my journal tab, okay? And my teacher can review it and comment from there. You also can like each other's work um, or leave comments on whatever um, work that your classmates have uploaded as well. Over here is this last button and this is if um, you have messages from your teacher so just be mindful if you have any little red buttons anywhere along here. Um, but this is how you navigate Seesaw for students. I hope you enjoy.